Hey, Chiefs Kingdom, Harrison Graham here from the Chiefs Report. We're just five days away from the AFC Championship game, and we all want to know if Patrick Mahomes will play in that game. Well, we do have a little bit more information, so let's go ahead and break that down for the next few minutes. Obviously, Patrick Mahomes remains in concussion protocol. Yes, he is in concussion protocol. I know a lot of you guys play doctors in the comments section, but he's in the protocol. Hasn't been cleared to play as of now. The Chiefs are optimistic he'll be able to practice on Wednesday in some capacity, but there are steps you have to pass to get in order to be fully cleared to play on Sunday. And as of now, those steps have not been fully passed. He's also dealing with the foot slash toe injury. We'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. But I wanted to show you guys this tweet from Adam Schefter first. Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes cleared certain steps on Monday. Quote, some big steps. That's good, right? But he remains in the NFL's concussion protocol with what is considered a concussion. It's too early to say that he definitely will play on Sunday's conference championship against the Bills per sources. So as of now, we don't know if Patrick Mahomes will be able to play on Sunday. But I'll ask you guys, what are you thinking? How are you feeling? Will Patrick Mahomes play against the Bills on Sunday night. Type Y for yes, type N for no. How are you guys feeling? I think he will, but he's got to pass these steps. It's not up to him and the Chiefs. It's up to an independent doctor to clear him. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section. And let me reiterate this because the comments section have been wild since Sunday's game. He didn't have a concussion. Oh, uh, you know, his neck just got twisted around. Oh, I, you know, I, I, I don't pretend to be a doctor, but his head didn't slam the turf. How could it possibly be a concussion? Here's what we know. He's in the concussion protocol two days after the game still. Like, I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to pretend to be one like some of you guys have been over the past few days. I agree. It didn't look like a hit that would normally result in a concussion, but he's in the protocol 48 hours of the, the, the divisional round game against the Browns. Certainly, he's dealing with some kind of head injury. Hopefully, it's mild. Hopefully, he can return for Sunday. But as of now, the final steps have not been passed. Hopefully, that happens very, very soon. Now, obviously, he's dealing with a foot injury as well. You guys saw him limping around during the second and third quarter before he exited with the concussion. Here's Schefter again. Additionally, Mahomes is dealing with a foot issue. He must go through certain steps to clear concussion protocol, again, on the head stuff. And there is hope and optimism considering he is expected to practice Wednesday per source. Now, I, you know, I, I checked in with my guy, Tom Downey. I was like, uh, can you do anything in your, if you're still in concussion protocol? There's some things you are allowed to do. I don't know how much. Obviously, he couldn't uh, take hits. He would not be cleared to, uh, for contact, but quarterbacks don't hit, take hits in practice anyway. So I think he'd be able to do some type of things. Probably can't you know, run around too much, but maybe he can get out there, throw a couple of passes, and you know, maybe do some rehab work as well. So hopefully he's not just sitting around the next three or four days waiting for the AFC title game. But even if he is, as long as he's cleared, I still like his chances to play at a very, very high level. And I'll tell you this, as soon as we know more, we will have a video about it. So subscribe to the channel at youtube.com slash Chiefs TV, the latest injury updates, news, rumors leading up to this game and on throughout the offseason as well once this season is over. So hit that big red button and subscribe. We crossed 12,000 subs on our watch party on Sunday. We're going to have another watch party this Sunday for the Bills game. So subscribe and look forward to that because we will break down the entire game this Sunday night. And obviously, it should be a fun game. The NFL deserves Patrick Mahomes versus Josh Allen. We'll talk Chad Henney in a minute. I don't want to see Chad Henney in this game. Thank you for the scramble. Thank you for the fourth down conversion. I've seen enough Chad Henney. I hope Patrick Mahomes is able to play in this game because this could be the game of the year. These are two of, if not the best two teams in the league outside of maybe the Packers as well. This should be a fun matchup. As of now, Chiefs three-point favorites. I'll be curious to see what this line moves if Mahomes is indeed ruled out or if he is confirmed to play. So keep your eyes on that as well. Who you got? Type BUF for Buffalo. Type KC for Kansas City. I'm riding with the Chiefs as long as there's a chance, and I do think a good chance, that Patrick Mahomes will play. So I'm typing my KC. But go ahead and cast your votes in the comments. Now, maybe you're feeling confident, or hell, you guys claim to be doctors. Maybe you got the inside scoop on Patrick Mahomes. If you think he's going to play, put your money where your mouth is at BetUS. Go to chatsports.com slash Chiefs Bet. Use our promo code Chiefs125 to get a 125% deposit bonus. I'll be honest. I want to wait to see what Mahomes' injury status is before I bet on this game. 
I think I like the over if Mahomes plays, but I don't know if he's going to play yet. So minus three for the Chiefs, over-under set at 53 and a half. There's prop uh, bets on, on this game, obviously, and you can bet on the other game as well, the uh, Packers-Bucks game. If you want to bet on that one, I love the under in that one, but chat sports dot com slash Chiefs 125 make some money during championship weekend and obviously Patrick Mahomes if you don't have him you're going to be in trouble I mean he's the best quarterback in football for a reason you could say I don't you know Aaron Rodgers Josh Allen I still think Mahomes is the key he's 24 and 1 as a starter over his last 25 starts including last year's playoff games he was probably going to throw for close to 400 yards against the Browns. They had no answers on stopping the Chiefs when he was out there. What happened when he uh, exited the game? The Chiefs scored zero more points. If Patrick Mahomes does not play in this game, the Chiefs won't win. I'll say that right now. I won't say it's impossible to win without him, but it's very unlikely. Buffalo is a damn good football team, so hopefully he is able to get it a go give it a go. If not... Chad Henney, I mean, this is kind of what you got. He did some good things, but I'm still having nightmares on that interception he threw. I could have picked that off. That was brutal. He called a fair catch in the end zone, the guy who picked that off. So hopefully if he has to play, uh, he plays a little bit better. But, man, I'll tell you what, if Mahomes is not out there, it's going to be tough sledding against a really good Buffalo team. Follow me on Twitter at HGramNFL. I'll keep you guys updated over there uh, with the Mahomes injury situation. More Chiefs and NFL updates there as well at HGramNFL. Go ahead and give me a follow on Twitter. Ask you guys this question. What's your confidence level in Chad Henney? Scale it from 1 to 10. 10 being, you're really confident. You believe the Chiefs would win even with Chad Henney. 1 being, this is one of the worst backup quarterbacks in the NFL. I'm at like a 4. And the reason I'm not completely not confident is I still think Andy Reid and Eric Bieniemy can scheme th some things up. You still have some good weapons. But, man, it's, uh, it's a major drop-off if you don't have number 15 under center. So, uh, go ahead and answer. Scale it from 1 to 10. How confident are you in Chad Henney? Now, obviously, Matt Moore is another option if Mahomes wouldn't or can't go. I wonder if Andy Reid will elevate Matt Moore for this game, even if Mahomes is active, just to have another option out there in case Mahomes exited the game. Because I like Matt Moore. I thought he played well last year in limited action. Two starts, four touchdowns, no interceptions. He doesn't make mistakes, whereas we know Chad Henney can be erratic throwing the football. We saw that on Sunday. So I think Matt Moore would be a decent option if Mahomes were unable to go. So I'll be curious to see if he gets any reps this week at practice. And obviously there's other injuries as well, and we'll continue to update you guys on these also. Uh, but will Clyde edwards Alaire play? That would help if he were out there if uh, Mahomes can't go. Sammy Watkins with the calf. He missed last week. Willie Gay Jr. was out with an ankle. Breland left with the head injury as well. Rashad Fenton dealing with an ankle injury. Lots of guys banged up for Kansas City. We'll keep you guys updated here on the channel, youtube.com slash Chiefs TV. As long as number 15 can can give it a go. I like this team's chances, but like I said, we'll have videos throughout the week updating you guys on the latest.